I want you to just grab a club with your lead hand and try this with me. Swing it back and forth and let it naturally rotate. So the butt of the club points at the ball, the elbow's down, and then add your right hand. You'll do a couple left hand only. Add your right hand and give me the same feel. Butt of the club at the ball, elbows down towards the ground, left hand below the right, but notice my right shoulder stays down. It's like, man, that feels like I'm really rotating my arms, Eric. I said, that's good, okay? That's what you need to feel. Now, give me the same thing I said. Hey, give me that same feel. So phase one, left arm only. Phase two, add in the right arm. Now, notice the whole time I haven't really been turning my body. I said, okay, phase three, let's start turning your belt buckle and your shirt buttons towards the target. So one of the big problems we have in the golf uh, coaching industry is a lot of players will come in and say, Eric, I had a really hard time closing out my round. You know, I was playing really good through maybe nine, 13 holes, but I bogeyed the last couple holes, I made a double bogey, had a really hard time finishing my round. I said, well, what do you think caused that? What did you drink? How is your hydration? Are you supplementing anything? No mention of that, right? They didn't eat anything. They don't hydrate at all. Maybe at best they drink a bottle of water. I've been a huge fan of Element since I first tried it over two years ago. It's a very tasty electrolyte drink mix and it's formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, 60 milligrams magnesium, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving Element packets free with any order. This is an awesome way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a friend. You can get yours at drinkelement.com backslash ecgolf and the deal is only available through this link. If you're someone who's trying to improve your performance on the course, you cannot neglect how important it is to replenish your electrolytes. Hey guys, Eric here out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, I wanna show you a lead arm move through the ball that I did with a recent student that he told me felt like it was literally cheating. And I had to laugh, shout out again to Jay Chown Golf. He had a, a title and thumbnail inspiration. When he said that word, I thought, oh, this is gonna be a really good YouTube video, good title and good thumbnail. So shout out to him, shout out to the student who literally said, hey, Eric, I feel like when I'm doing that move, it feels way easier than my normal move. A lot of players who come in to see me or come online struggle with contact, consistency, et cetera. Have the lead arm move through impact something like this. You might have seen sort of the old chicken wing, right? The old chicken wing move. Now there's a couple details here when you work through like this and the reference and mantra I'm gonna show you. And the player I was working with looked like this. Specifically, the left hand was above the right hand and the elbow pointed up towards the sky. Now, if I take that same thing and I bring it over here, you see that that doesn't do a very good job of closing the club face, okay? That's like essentially holding on for dear life into the follow through. And you imagine what sort of ball flights you're gonna get from that. Now, if we look at the best players in the world, and I'll show some examples here of Adam Scott, John Rahm, um, a couple other uh, players, Xander Schauffele, Tiger Woods, who are gonna demonstrate the same thing that I showed for my student here. In the follow through, what you wanna have happen is you wanna be able to see your lead hand under your trail hand and have the elbow point more down and behind you versus up towards the sky. So here's my student left arm above, or let's say left hand above, elbow up, chicken wing holding on to it. Here's what we wanna have happen. Left hand below, elbow down. Now notice as I change those, what did I not change? I didn't have my right shoulder go high and lose my inclination to the ground. Most people, when I show them this forearm rotation thing, they'll start going like this. Well, like a big high right shoulder, you know, tennis forehand. I'm like, no, 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 that's not what we're doing here. My shoulder stays down, I keep my inclination to the ground, but the club is allowed to fully release. The left hand's below the right. Notice how my arm folds a little bit and the elbow's down towards the ground. A lot of golfers, this gentleman in particular, I had to sort of convince him of this. He said, Eric, wait a minute. I thought arm rotation's bad. I thought I'm gonna have too much timing. And I said, gentlemen, who I won't use his name, show me where your balls are going out there. What does our dispersion look like? So we pulled up the track man pulled up the screen and where did all the balls go? Short, right, with poor contact. I said, so let's just get this straight. You're doing this, and I said this in a more kind way, okay? I said, you're doing this and you're missing short, right, bad contact. 
I'm saying I'm doing this, and you're worried that that's going to be too much timing or overclose the face. See the problem there? And again, as evidence, I pulled up all these guys. I pulled up Tiger Woods. I pulled up Adam Scott. I pulled up John Rahm, Xander Schauffele. And what do they all look like? You're going to see on the screen. They all look like this. That's not excessive arm rotation. That's normal arm rotation. I'm not standing up at a posture with it. I'm staying down, okay? So what we worked on is that feel. The shoulder stays down, but my left hand is under my right, and my left elbow points down into the left. Now, you'll notice when I do that, that that closes the club face. If you open the door on the way back some amount, what do you have to do on the way down? Got to close it some amount, okay? That's what the best players in the world do. That's what you need to do as well. So we started to hit some shots. I said, hey, give me that same feel. What do you feel like when you're doing this? He said, well, I feel like those cues you mentioned, left hand underneath the right. I feel the left arm uh, down, and I feel like the arm's kind of folding more than normal. And I said, hey, you ever notice when you're watching a tournament, you watch good players grab the club with their lead hand, they do something like this. Right? This would be a normal amount of arm rotation, just a normal swinging motion, okay? On the way down and through, my arm's going to rotate. The butt of the club points back towards the golf ball. The shaft's on like a 45 degree angle, and my elbow points down and left. You don't see guys on the tee go like this, okay? You ever watch a PGA Tour tournament this weekend? Show me how many guys are doing this all day, okay? But if you just stood and held a club, you would let it naturally rotate like this, okay? And that's what we're looking to do. Natural rotation. So that's the feel we gave him. I said, when you leave, when you're playing with your buddies, I want you to just grab a club with your lead hand and try this with me, swing it back and forth and let it naturally rotate. So the butt of the club points at the ball, the elbows down, and then add your right hand. I'll do a couple left hand only. Add your right hand and give me the same feel. Butt of the club at the ball, elbows down towards the ground, left hand below the right. But notice my right shoulder stays down. It's like, man, that feels like I'm really rotating my arms, Eric. I said, that's good, okay, that's what you need to feel. Now, give me the same thing I said, hey, give me that same feel. So phase one, left arm only. Phase two, add in the right arm. Now, notice the whole time I haven't really been turning my body. I said, okay, phase three, let's start turning your belt buckle and your shirt buttons towards the target. And he did that, and he turned, and I pulled his video up, and I looked at him versus the Adam Scott model, and guess what? They looked exactly the same. So for him to go from this to normal, he had to feel like he was really doing a lot of it. So if you have that same issue, you need to feel that same amount. Then we hit some balls. He said, Eric, how am I going to know if I did it right or not? I said, well, video, of course. He said, what if I don't have video? And I said, well, the ball flight, okay? If the ball's still going to the right of the target, and we just look at this one variable, would you assume you did too much or too little arm rotation? He said, well, probably too little. I said, okay, good. I said, what if you're hitting and it goes too far left of the target and curves left, too much or too little? He said, probably too much. I said, good. I said, what if it goes pretty straight? He said, probably the right amount. I said, beautiful. And that's always the answer to the question is the ball flight pattern. So as you're doing this, again, left hand only. Add the right hand, no body still. Left hand's below the right. Left arm's folding, the elbow's down. Club's on about a 45, then add in some body rotation. That's going to be a normal swing. You don't have to be afraid of rotating your arms to close the club face, okay? And again, notice as I'm hitting those shots, and that ball flew dead straight, felt like I had a decent amount of arm rotation. So I opened the door a little on the way back, and I closed it a little on the way through. That's okay. That is okay. But again, notice I didn't have my high right shoulder. I'm not doing this. I'm not hitting this big hook like this. Shoulder stays down. Left hand's below my right hand. Left elbow can, and arm can freely rotate. And all of those are pretty straight. That one drew maybe five yards. Over time, you can lessen the amount you need to think about that, but in the beginning, you need to do a healthy amount of it. Okay, and that's okay for you to feel that. Now, the only way that I have a player who looks like this, where the left arm stays above the right and the elbow points up, and looks like here through impact, the only way that works is if you have a significantly closed club face earlier on and really good body motions, okay? The only players I've ever seen be able to execute that are players who shoot certainly in the 70s and probably par or better. 
A lot of golfers I see, and if you're someone who shoots in the 80s, 90s, or above, and you're looking to get to the next level, you don't need to do all that first to get better. Learn how to close the club face at all with arm rotation, a normal way, and then you can you know, explore closing it sooner if you'd like, but unless your club face is pretty darn closed and you've got great body pivot, you're allowed to have some arm rotations. The only way you would release it like that. And look at any player who does that and look at their club face angles. Okay, so we're going with a little bit of arm rotation. One more time. Left hands below the right. The shoulder stays down. The club's about on a 45 degree angle, butt of the club pointing at the ball. This left arm freely rotates. Just let yourself do some of these. This is all clubs. Okay, one more with the seven. Free arm rotation. And as we hit shots with him, and there's the ball again that goes pretty much dead straight. As we hit balls with him, and this happens a lot, he kind of felt like freed up. I think he was really trying to hold on to that forever. Like he had to really fight that. And the results were poor. If you come in and you have that arm, you're like, hey, I want to do that. And you're hitting it great, playing great. Beautiful, don't change it. But if you're hitting you know, poor contact, weak right, of course you can let that, that arm rotate. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions via arm rotation, we've got more videos on this. Leave us a comment down below. If you're struggling with anything like this, that's why we created coronalgolf.com. So you can send in your swings. We can identify things like this for you, give you drills. You can make instant um, gains with your game. A lot of players I see who are really struggling, they're struggling because they're not doing the right things. Um, they're not identifying the right root issues or you, they're not practicing them correctly. When you correct the correct things and you practice them the right way, you can make huge gains really, really quickly. That's what we get at coronagolf.com. Unbelievable value. We'd love to see you there. Appreciate you guys watching these videos as always.